Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with another reading. This is going to be a general reading for May 8th to the 15th. What to expect, challenges you may face, and how to resolve it. Please take what resonates and leave behind the does not. Click like to show some support. Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess. Share the video to share the wealth. And let's get into your reading. Oh, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a beat. All right, so Spirit, please provide me with the guided messages for Gemini from May 8th to the 15th. Please provide me with the guided messages for Gemini. So Gemini, I see tomorrow, I feel like you are going to have to take on a very practical approach using logic and having a clear understanding of a situation from both sides. Mondays can be your most challenging day because this feels like a Gemini who has the weekends to themselves. But once that Monday hits, it becomes full on work mode. So your guides are stressing you in a sense to say, you know, this is your routine. Take the time to see your situations through before you react, especially tomorrow. Gemini, Aquarius. Libra energies are present. I also see that as the week goes along, if you don't take this approach, it's going to become rather difficult for you as the week progresses. I feel like someone is a little bit tired of a situation that they have to face as the days go by. You may be taking steps to change your financial situation or wanting to switch jobs or you just want to change your life i've been feeling this energy for a while for you gemini where you just want to switch things up you want to flip the script i feel like a lot of you want to get rid of the position that you're in right now whether it be in a position in a relationship and you want to be better understood or position in a relationship with your employer where you may feel as if your skill set is being overlooked un overlooked undermined or taken for granted. So there are times when you say things that comes out harshly and co or considerate and people don't really understand. They think you're just being difficult or hard to work with when in actuality, you are overqualified for the position that you're in. I see that as the week progresses, you are going to, uh, well, this looks like it may be your pay week as well. Your spirit guides are telling you to invest in something that can change your financial situation. If you want to do better, you want bigger opportunities, or you want to experience more, you have to invest more. So your guides are telling you that in addition to moderating what you say and not being belligerent and um, reactive this week, take the steps towards changing your situation by looking into investments or seeing how you can create another income, invest in yourself you know, your self-development, invest in changing your habits, your money spending habits. You may spend a little bit too much on things that you don't necessarily need, not because you can't afford it, but because you want to change your financial situation, you have to start investing in things that can help you to do that. I feel that with the queen of wands energy, once you do that, you're going to start feeling more powerful and encouraged to keep going, create a new, um, a skill set, learn a new skill set, even if it's something that you have to learn at YouTube University so that it can help you to monetize something that you're going to start afresh this week or something that you've been working on that hasn't really been bringing you the extra income, but you've been considering because you want to get out of your job. I feel like a lot of you are in this energy of, I don't want to work for anyone anymore. I am so over going to this dumbass job from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or from however long you work, whether you work the first, second, or third shift, you just don't want to work any shift. Your guides are also letting you know that 
Once you go into entrepreneurship, there is no guarantees of success and your financial stability will be rather unstable at first. But if you plan ahead and you invest and you create a security blanket for yourself, especially since you make good money right now, you should be saving and you should be investing. This Queen's, Queen of Wands energy says that you'd be able to maintain your life, even though the change may be a little shaky when you finally do make that transition. Okay. So now here, Gemini, with the Six of Wands, I feel like you're going to have a major step in the right direction this week because I feel like you're really putting your best foot forward with you being knowing your worth and approaching your situations as someone who has a force to be reckoned with and managing your attitude in a way where it doesn't blow things out of proportion as it sometimes does. I feel like with these changes that you're going to make, Gemini, you're going to have something to celebrate this week. I feel like these small wins that you're going to be investing and you're going to maybe open an investment account or st pay for startup costs for something or invest in inventory, whatever the case may be, there's going to be something happening where you are going to have a small win to celebrate. Even if it's small, it's a small step in a big direction, a big, great change in direction that you need, something that can inspire you to keep moving, something that can inspire you to keep being humble and keep um, keep growing. Your guides are also saying that you have to keep educating yourself. You have to keep your momentum by constantly reading new material, constantly um, being curious about what are different ways that you can educate yourself about what you're trying to embark on because yes you have knowledge about what you want to do but it's going to take a bigger uh, a more vast skill set for you to accomplish what you're trying to do so definitely remain curious about what it is that you want to accomplish constantly look for information remember i said youtube university you can educate yourself with the internet but you have to utilize your resources efficiently and the key is to utilize them take action this week is all about action and it's also about moderation knowing when to speak knowing when to be silent knowing when to delegate knowing when to do it yourself and then finally the moon card so the moon card is saying that this week is also going to be revealing things to you that you did not recognize before. Perhaps you may have had habits that you did not realize that you had that kept you from being financially um, stable enough to venture out with these plans that you've had that you've been holding back on. I feel like there's going to be um, some information that you're going to uncover while you're educating yourself, whether it be with YouTube or going doing research or whether you take up a class or whether you get whether you get a mentor. Um, why is the moon card here? The moon card here is the four of, uh, the four of swords. So Gemini is saying that be mindful of taking breaks to the point where you don't get things done. And it's saying that you may not, unbeknownst to you, you don't realize that you have habits that you have to adjust so that you can see that you are holding yourself back in some circumstances. But overall, the week of the 8th of May for you, Gemini, is going to be a successful week. I feel like as the week goes along, you're going back and forth in between things of what you need to do. You're not getting your feelings involved. You're just taking action. You're taking much needed um, time to figure out what you have to do. And then you're taking action. Just be realistic about the, the expectations that you set for yourself and you'll be well off. Also, keep in mind that nothing happens overnight sometimes you get a strike of luck and things may occur quicker than you anticipate but it's going to take hard work it's also going to take you being consistent you may have to call in some assistance as well working with people maybe people that you work with may be able to give you insight on what you're trying to do remember to utilize your resources rome wasn't built in a day but you can certainly get started tonight so Gemini, I hope this reading resonates for someone or with someone. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, please do not hesitate to reach out by clicking the link in the description, turn on post notifications, and until next time, love and light, tribe.